and, and now let's get into our let's get to our next topic. <laughs> More SJW news. Uh so Sweet Baby has uh that they, they kind of went into hiding, I would say. Sweet Baby has kind of went into hiding, but now there's a new target. There is a new target with this this uh, anti woke community with the anti woke community, and this is Black Girl Gamers. Black Girl Gamers is a new target of the anti woke community. They are going after every consulting firm, every community, every company that has anything to do with consultation or working on any video games in any form or fashion. The reason why they're going at the Black Girl Gamers is because they are cited to, as I uh, said on the Sweet Baby video, they are cited to have worked on Forspoken. Now, I will admit, and I said it on that video, Forspoken was good from a gameplay standard, but terrible from a story perspective, from a dialogue perspective. The dialogue was absolutely atrocious. It was cringy. I did not like it. The story was trash. I don't want to say trash. You know me. I don't want to say trash. It was pretty bad. <laughs> the story was pretty bad. I did play Forspoken on PC. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And uh, you know, it it wasn't. It was optimized. It was, eh, was kind of. It was kind of choppy a little bit. It was kind of choppy a little bit. It wasn't bad, but uh, it wasn't. It wasn't the the best. It wasn't the most optimized. But that was, like I said, I had fun playing the game from a gameplay standpoint. But the story, man, the story could be punting. Like I said, the dialogue was just, oof. The dialogue was very cringy. I did not like it at all. So I admit that. Like, Forspoken was pretty bad. And so literally now, any time that any game focuses on anybody who's black, because we're not going to focus on anything else. Like, nobody talked about Yakuza. Nobody talked about Yakuza. Nobody talked about Ghost of Tsushima. Nobody talked about uh, Rise of the Ronin outside of what's going on with Rise of the Ronin. But we don't talk about the characters. And we don't talk about the story. We don't talk about the dialogue. We need those games to feature Asian characters. It's usually always if you're black, if you're a woman, or if you're in the LGBTQ community. It's always those three. Those three are going to be the main focus. So anything that has a main character or a supporting character or somebody that was, has changed from uh, a white person to a black person or, or uh, a man to a woman, those are going to be the main target. So Forspoken obviously featured a black girl and they were like, oh, black girl gamers worked on that. It wasn't sweet, baby. It was black girl gamers. Like, so not even, not even on black girl gamers head. So. He said, I don't think uh, people in real life play. They don't. They don't. And that's the problem. Like I said, the inter it's the internet. The internet. People don't care about this in real life. And that's why I was, I was saying, like, it's going to be very interesting um, in hindsight if they knew, if the people who were mad at these games knew beforehand, like God of War and Spider-Man and Suicide Squad and Alan Wake 2, if they knew that Sweet Baby or any other consulting company that they end up finding, if they if they knew in hindsight that they worked on these games, would they still buy it? And my answer is no. I don't think that they have the cojones to do it. I honestly don't. Because you're not going to tell me that FOMO's not going to get in the way. You're not going to tell me that you didn't want to play God of War Ragnarok when, when we literally had people saying that God of War Ragnarok was going to have the best boss battles. <laughs> <laughs> like you i i doubt it i highly doubt it i bet a million dollars that that uh that they would vote with their wallets and not play the game i don't think they would have in hindsight so we're going to see now we are going to see now if if they find out um with this group sweet baby ink detected or any other um any other reddit or any other groups or any other youtube videos that come out saying hey this consulting company is is a diverse consulting company they work on this game or they're working on this game they're working on this game any game that sweet baby ink is working on are they going to still vote with their wallets and not play it and we're not talking about the indie game we're talking about the triple a games we're talking about the already established stories like i want to see if they're going to be about that action i don't think they're going to stand on business but anyway so now we have black girl gamers is getting singled out and this guy this guy here grums fits twitter of mark kern ceo and designer former team lead of og world of warcraft producer diablo 2 starcraft chrono and he says chrono trigger is the best game keep in mind this guy's asian shout out to uh, rdz uh for the 20 months so this guy's asian 
But uh, he decided to, to jump into the fray here. And he says, Black Girl Gamers also runs a community, but you must apply and cannot join if you self-identify as a man. And he pulls up this, and uh, apparently he has a problem with this. He said that he wants to join. He wants to join Black Girl Gamers. I mean, it's literally in the name, Black Girl Gamers. He is singling this out and apparently has a problem because he cannot join. And so someone responded and said, it's in the title of the group. It's for black people in what is meant to be a black space, including those POC who are NB, which is non-binary. They may want to have a fem only space and cater to fems that day. In either case, it's their space and right to do so. Everyone else has spaces. Bravo, very clear and concise tweet. But this person responds, name a white male only space. He thought he was cooking, chat. He thought he was cooking. He thought he was cooking. Cause boy, oh boy, did the quote tweets and <laughs> replies get on his head. This is an easy, this is one of the easiest layups I've ever seen. <laughs> one of the easiest layups I've ever seen. And this is why you need to stay out of people's business. You ain't even white. You not even white. So stay out of <laughs> you stay out of white people and black people's business. Stay out of white and black people's business. So literally the first comment here said the clan. <laughs> like, like just a period. Period. The clan. I, I'm more than certain that when the clan first started, they did not allow women. Because uh, we were still in that area where women could not vote. So do you think that they would be inviting the Klan? I'm sure they could be in there now. But the Klan was a white male only space. All right. <laughs> they said, somebody said, could probably name several in 1920s America. Somebody said, sundown towns. Oh, man. These are still around, by the way. Sundown towns are still around. And, uh, and they are on the internet. There are a few around me right now. Florida is a scary place. Uh, somebody said the White House. <laughs> somebody said the streets at the 9 p.m. Proud Boys, absolutely. You can, I mean, you can pretty much name like almost every like white fraternity. Those are white male only spaces. Um, even though, although they claim they claim that you know everyone's divided, but not, not really, not really. Um, uh, said like if actually care, he would work on making the game space better for black women. Yeah, no, nah, he, he don't care. And apparently he is naive and ignorant to the fact that, you know, do you know why these spaces exist? Like, do you truly know why these spaces exist? It's because you won't let us in. Like, this is, a, and, and people always try to come back to the point. It's always, it's always the same argument. Well, why you, why did y'all fight for segregation if y'all want to go back to this? It's, it's, bro, do, do we think that segregation ended racism? Segregation did not end racism. Or are you kidding me? Like, no, I, here's another one. Country clubs, <laughs> country clubs, not, not too many black people out there golfing. It's, it's going to take a lot. You got to know somebody to know somebody to get in there. A lot of country clubs are still, still like that. Still very, very exclusive. A lot of white males only. Somebody tell this, somebody tell this person like, uh, <laughs> And somebody said it to Profit Golf Clubs who dropped out of PGA rather than let Tiger Woods in. Come on, don't ask these sort of questions without knowledge. Cook them. <laughs> Cook them. <laughs> like, like, what are we, what are we talking about here? Like, it's, re it's ridiculous, bro. It's, it's ridiculous. And somebody said every single group already. <laughs> Most of the gaming community at large. Yeah, the loudest ones. The grifters. Yep. Yep. Facts. Somebody said 4chan, <laughs> how to catch a predator, <laughs> mass shooter list. Oh, that's a good one. Mass shooter list. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of, a lot of white males there. A lot of white males there. It's a high position within companies. Yeah. Look at, look at any of uh, the biggest fortune 500 companies and look at that exact board. That that's a club. <laughs> that's a space. <laughs> Oh man, it's, it's ridiculous. 
Yeah, so now nah, he, he got cooked. This is this is a really good meme here. Say you do not fit in here. I said, okay, we'll make our own place. So why are you excluding us? This is literally this is literally what's going on. And then it said, you do not fit in here. It's like, bro, please let people do their own thing. Please let people have their own spaces. I mean, let's let's go back to when we started Black Wall Street. Let's go back to when we started Black Wall Street. It, it, prime example, they're like, oh man, y'all sitting over there thriving. Y'all thriving over there. All right. <laughs> All right, let me let, let's let's bomb this. Let's bomb this joint. Like, we can never have our own stuff. Like, we tried doing this. We tried to to you know do our thing over here because y'all wouldn't let us in and y'all got mad at it and once again history is repeating itself we are in 2024 and people are still mad whether he was trolling or not people are still mad when when uh when minorities have their own spaces like what are we doing here this is this is dumb this is dumb why do things like this bother you that is that is the question that he should be asking himself because he's trying to prove a point. He's like, oh man, like they're the I seen people here saying that since they have a CEO, since Black Girl Gamers has a CEO, that they are a company and not a community. And they're saying, well, if you're a company, then you have to legally um not discriminate based on race or uh or or gender. So I'm like, yeah, you got a point there about about yes, legally. If they are if they are really a company then yeah you kind of have to and that's a weird loophole but still like it's black girl gamers and they are a community so why would you want to be in there what is the point what is the point what is the benefits of you being in there so man this this guy started he started a shit storm he got all the all the grifters all the anti woke people now hopped on it they're going after black girl gamers black girl gamers had to release some statements uh various people who were within their group started getting attacked like it's getting ugly once again because now they have they have more people who are i would say more normal people more regular people who they're just finding and going after so this isn't with sweet baby where at first nobody knew who they were at all and then you know all of a sudden then some of the people who were working for sweet baby started coming out and and saying some i mean i ain't gonna lie you know saying some some pretty pretty crazy things i i would admit some things that i wouldn't tweet you know regardless of what i felt like that or not um so you know they have their accountability too and then you know starting to starting to hold shit on when you're trying to you know go after the red uh the steam group i want to say reddit group because it, it basically is like a reddit group but for some reason it's on steam but go after the steam group a sweet baby detected ink a sweet baby detected ink and uh and and get the uh and get cabrutus banned so that's what really popped it off what grown man would even want to be a part exactly exactly like i seen a girl i was like i was like hey i like do y'all thing like they ain't got nothing to do with me if this allows you to to prosper and get more opportunities why would i care why would i care whether you're black white like it doesn't matter like let the girls have their space bro black women already feel the most underrepresented group out of everybody and you're making it worse you're proving the point like you're going after them for no reason going after them because they consulted or worked on the video game whether it's good or bad if it's bad just leave it alone it's for spoken didn't it do good move on people are acting like they have stock in these video games and honestly it's pissing me off because now and i said this on twitter as well the the word dei that's the new buzzword and there were still people who's like i don't even know what dei stand for and i told you a lot of people didn't until a couple weeks ago y'all did not know what dei stood for because again it doesn't it didn't concern you until you until now you're making it concern you because you're getting all butthurt about some video game potentially having forced diversity in it and including black people or including women in it or including lgbtq people in it like what are we doing here what are we doing here why why is forced diversity a thing that is not a thing forced diversity is not a thing yo like <laughs> like i'm sorry it's not it is not a thing here and yes, not every game is going to be uh, 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 a 100% hit. Sorry, not every game is going to be 100%. Spider-Man 2 was not bad because of Miles Morales. Spider-Man 2 was not bad because uh, they messed up the uh, the Puerto Rican fa uh, flag and put a, a Cuban flag in it. Spider-Man 2 
was not the best because it didn't innovate. And I've said this before, like from a gameplay standpoint, a story standpoint, it was good, but it did not innovate from the first one. It did not it did not evolve from the first one, in my opinion. Yes, you can play with Miles Morales and Peter Parker, but they're saying that oh me oh man, Peter Parker not gonna be in the game anymore. They forced the white man out. See, look, like again, just all these narratives, bro. Just don't play the next game then. Just don't play the next game. Like, I'm tired of people crying. Don't buy the freaking game then. Don't buy it. Like, that's all you gotta do. And show them then. Go go ahead. You show the man. You show Sony. You show <laughs> you show Insomniac. Go ahead and show them. Go ahead and show them then. Cause I'm tired of this, bro. Y'all don't do this with any other freaking groups but those three that I mentioned. Y'all don't do this with nobody else. Y'all y'all never do this about any any JRPG games. Y'all don't do about y'all do it about nothing, bro. Y'all don't do this about any game that had white people in it. We don't do that. We don't do that. We've been playing games that have white male characters for the longest, bro. I've never cared. And I've said this a million times. I do not care, bro. Yeah, it's nice having black male characters, but I don't care. Is the game good? Yes or no? That's all I care about. Is the game good? <laughs> like, I don't understand why this hard, bro. It's entertainment. It is entertainment. At the end of the day, man, I know that people are passionate about video games. I'm passionate about video games, but I am never passionate to that point where I am letting certain things in video games ruin it for me. And I'm and acting like I had stock in these games. Bro, we are all like, y'all are on here <laughs> watching us play video games and give you our opinions. That is it, bro. That is it. And that's literally just what I want to keep stressing. This is so stupid. I never thought that it would get to this point that people would be so upset that black people or women or LGBTQ people would be in video games. I just like as main characters or as focal points. I, I just never I never understood. So it's it's ridiculous. Am I watching Shogun? I, I think you asked me on Twitter. Uh yeah, I'm watching it, but I haven't I haven't caught up with it to me i keep forgetting that the show exists like i because usually if i'm if my wife isn't watching something with me then i i definitely am slow when it comes to uh catching up on things unless i'm like just super locked in so like i gotta catch up on shogun i gotta catch up on invincible i keep forgetting about invincible i have been watching x-men 97 though but uh but shogun i gotta catch up on i gotta catch up on thank you for reminding me so anyways that's that but uh we'll see what happens to, to bgg but it's it's ridiculous it, it's it's ridiculous what's going on here and like i said i've said this years back um when we seen like the sa channels uh coming out and just being negative about every single video game just finding something wrong with it i'm like bro y'all do not like video games anymore y'all don't even enjoy playing video games anymore y'all just literally just whatever whatever is the hype of video game coming out y'all find something wrong with it y'all uh and then y'all just make a youtube video and then just grift your community all y'all that's all y'all do bro just rinse and repeat y'all do not like playing video games anymore and i really wish that those certain people would just get out of this space like just just leave bro like nobody wants you here i'm tired of it i'm tired of the crying i'm tired of the whining like it's it's all ridiculous at this point it's all ridiculous and these are grown men too and and, that, and that's the thing that really hurt these are grown men doing this you don't see you don't see too many women doing this like i i've seen a couple i've seen a couple who were who were in that space you don't see too many women doing this you definitely don't see black people doing this i'm sorry it's just it, it's just not a thing because again we don't care we do not care so i'm just like bro it's only one <laughs> it's only, only one demographic you see, oh, it's one demographic. It's the majority of them, bro. Crying. Just crying, bro. I'm like, this is not the real world. Y'all got to shut up. Just shut up. So, uh, but I hope I don't have to keep talking about this, honestly. Like I said, I just want whatever i i honestly want these consulting companies these diverse consulting companies to continue working on these triple a games that are like highly anticipated i want them to keep working on it so i can see who's really 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 going to stand on business and not and not buy the game because all it takes is one all it takes is one person to be like i'm trying it out for research for research <laughs> and then they're going to catch fomo then they're going to catch fomo just imagine of elden ring Imagine if Elden Ring DLC at, at, at the Shadow of the Earth Tree came out. <laughs> Even though you can make your own character, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like if something happened, they'd be like, "Man, Michaela is gay." Like I don't know. This is just something stupid like that. It was like Michaela is gay, or uh, or Michaela. How are you saying it? Like what? Do, what do think he's gay? And, and and see what happened. Like are you gonna not play the game? Are you, are you just gonna? You, it's gonna be full stop there. Like I don't know. 
I don't know. So I like I said, like what what is it gonna take? Or you just gonna be like, I'm just not playing it? Like is it too gay for me now? Like I just I just don't understand. I don't understand. I I don't know. I don't know where the where the line is drawn. Is it really that simple? Because I doubt it. I feel like people people are complaining about it. They're saying it is, but that ain't really it. Because at the game at fire, you gonna play it regardless. The FOMO's gonna kick in. You're gonna play it. You gonna be sitting there. You gonna be sitting there angry. <laughs> you gonna be sitting there angry. I can't believe I'm playing it. Like you gonna play it. You gonna play it. I I don't know. 